Hello everyone, my name is Nelson Lee Miller from PA Creative and today we're going to show you how to embed a Google Map into Divi for free with no API. You may have noticed that this year Google changed some of their policies and they now require a credit card for you to use the Google Maps module in Divi. Well, if you're like me, you don't want to give Google your credit card. So there's actually an easier way and a much better way with a lot of extra features. So make sure you stay to the end of this video and take a look at the demo that we're going to build so that you can see all the extra features. All right, with that said, let's dive right in. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Google Maps. Now, you're going to want to enter the name of your business here. I'm actually going to just use a uh, local business here near where I live. I'm going to use this as an example. So once you search for it, you'll see a share button right here. Click share. And then click over here on this tab, embed a map. Now this map is in a square shape, but don't worry about that. All we're going to do now is copy the HTML, click once, and then we're done here. Now we're going to go to our website and we're going to do a couple of things here. We're going to add a new section and make it one column row. And the next thing we need to add is a code module. Let's go down here, code module. Now inside the code module in the content area, we're going to copy and paste in our code from Google Maps. Now you'll notice that this map doesn't fit very well here, so we're going to do a couple of things. You'll notice here that there is a width and height. So let's go ahead and change this 600 to 100 percent. All right. What's that, what that does there is fills up the whole row. Now, of course, we're going to want this to be full width. I think that it looks nice when it's full width. You can do whatever you want with the sizing. You can put it in any column or um, you can use two or three columns. But what we're going to do here is use custom gutter width. Set this back to, uh, to one. We made the road full width. And then of course you could um, go in here to both the row and the section and do a zero padding. That'll give you a really nice um, full width section. We'll just change the padding here to zero. And there you have it. Now I mentioned some of the extra features that you get here as opposed to the regular map module which doesn't work anymore. So as you can see there's the name of the business, the address, it also shows the reviews, there's a button to view larger, there's a button to click for directions which is really nice, and a button to save this to Google Maps. All of these things are not available in the regular Divi module so the advantages here are very clear. Plus remember we're not giving our credit card to Google and we're not fooling around with API. So that completes our tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And let me know what tutorial you would like to see next, and hopefully we can do that. Thank you.